What's up, guys? This is Time of Death wait, bringing wait, wait. you the transit Easter egg for Maxis's side. Not Maxis. I'm Don't sorry. Ricked off inside. Now you're gonna want to have the nav cart table built. I have a separate video up for that stuff, if you, know. you want to watch that before you come here. That's if you don't know how to build it. I also have uh, right. videos up for the nav cart and the jet gun. The only one of those three you don't need to have yeah, is the right. nav cart for the Easter egg uh, for both. I don't know why there's rumor out there for die rise and uh -huh. this one that oh, you yeah. need the nav like cart for the Easter egg, which you don't. But you do need the nav cart table built for the rigged off inside oh, so on on um transit this now for oh, the maxis god, side god. on transit you don't on die rise you do though but for both on die rise you do. anyways i go down here like a noob and this guy picks me up thank you zombie mower pretty good friend and we're just gonna build this turbine right here and get out of this first room because that's pretty much what you're going to want to do. You can't accomplish anything in this spawn room except to build this turbine. And like I said though, um, on die rise you can, you, you need the nav car table built for both. On here, on transit, for Max's side you don't, but like I said we're doing ricked off inside. And we're just going to open this door right here. And we're going to go outside and, uh, yeah, we're just going to get out of here and we're going to go to power as soon as we can. And we need to turn on the power. The power is the first step. As you see us riding on the bus, we're on the bus to power. And we're going to stop right here where the bus driver stops and Zombie Moore is going to open the door and we're going to go ahead and build the power. Now, this is different from other games. Um, in zombies, where you just turn on the power. Oh, Here, wow. you have to t you have to build the power, and there are three parts: this and uh, an arm, which I just picked up, um, a switch, and a power box is yeah. what you usually have on the power an arm, a switch, and a power box. And there you go. There's the power. And uh, that arm is gonna spawn outside of this room. I'm pretty sure it does not spawn inside this room. It'll spawn outside of this room. And there's about three locations, but they're pretty easy to find. Man, look at all the electricity. If you just look around outside that room. The second one is a switch, which is inside of this room. And the last part, I think you can spawn inside of this room. I'm not for sure. Um, but I'm I'm pretty sure it spawns outside of this room as well. Um, no, I think it can spawn inside of this room. I, I'm... I, I don't know, I'm 50-50 on that, but anyways, like I said, just check around here, it's hard to miss these three parts, and build that. Oh yeah, the ropes. The anyways, ropes. after you turn on the power, Maxis will talk, you do not want to listen to Maxis, because Maxis will tell you to turn off the power. You're not doing Maxis Easter Egg, you're doing Rick Dolphins for this, uh, this tutorial we're doing, and there if you want to do Rick Dolphins, no, you you're going to need the me. power on. And in yeah, a few seconds here, She's in about probably huge. 15 seconds, you're going to hear Rick Dolphin say something about uh, this being a marathon to the finish between him and Max's trying to contain control over the zombies and the ether. Okay, guys, you've just recently heard Rick Dolphin talk about the just race to the finish they're having to see who controls the ether, who will control the power of it. Now, anyways, uh, you need the second part is to get the jet gun of the pylon. You're going to want to build that in town, and Rick Dolphin says you need to heat it up over here, and that's what Zombie Moore is going to do. And he's going to talk after we heat it up. There you go. Talking? You must rest the 
Alright guys, Rick Dolphin says you need a lot of 115 over here under this pylon. What that means is you I'm need to kill a lot of zombies you. under this pylon. And mine. And uh, yeah, you you can train them up or do whatever you want. It does not matter. Some people what? think, oh, you gotta train them up. And then some people think you gotta get an explosive weapon. Where I'll, well, I will derail the rumors. Um, that's what I want to do on my channel to show you guys legit gaming and what you can do and strategies you can use <coughs> that you don't have to use. You sure you want to run the uh, Strategies that you can use that, you know, you can um, get rid of these rumors and just pretty much play your game. Now, anyways, like I said, I'm running a train here. I'm just trying to lead him away from this guy so he can just shoot him. But you don't have to do a train. You can just shoot him when they get under here. And yeah, you do not have to use an explosive weapon. <laughs> Like I said, he is. I, I told him he didn't. He wanted to anyway, so that's his choice. Uh, you know what I mean? It's his weapon. It's his choice. Um, but anyways, uh, like I said, they're grabbing max ammo. And we're just going to line them up here and kill them over here. Alright. The next part, which you'll hear, is I'm over here around 11. And... I realize, oh man, screw this, it's another round. I just got jug. I run over here to the teleporter, which you see that green light on that teleporter, it's got like electricity around it. That makes sure you did the jet gun part right. That you did the jet gun part right. And uh, just not ripped off and saying it, you know you did it right because it was green flashing light with electricity around it. Now, I'm going to run back in this maze and continue the part I was talking about before about the 115. You're just going to come over here. And you come under run. the pylon, right and you see, you don't have to be so close to the pylon to get the kills, because you see I get the kills right here, and Rick Dolphin talks. You started this, not me. So we did it? Now Rick, Rick Dolphin talks about reducing the power by a factor of four. Well, reducing the power, if you reduce any power on anything, it's going to come from the EMPs, which these are very hard to get from the box, and it takes a long time unless you get lucky early on, which, oh my god, it is such a hassle, guys, just to get EMPs. Now, you see us killing more zombies so, under this uh, pylon, we which we don't need to. We're just trying to survive the round and then get out of here and leave one zombie left. Plus, as well, if you saw me kill those last two zombies out of the pylon, that's when Rick Dolphin talked, and you heard it as well when I killed those two. Um, you don't have to be. When you kill these zombies as well, some people think they got to be directly, so directly under it. Sometimes the game might glitch out to where you might have to, but most of the times you really don't. You can kill them somewhere at the entrance part, and it will still count as long as it's somewhere near it. Just like I killed those two zombies, and the... Uh, Easter egg went on and he set the next part. Anyways, uh, we're going to go on from that. And in a few seconds here, I'm going to show you your last part you got to do to get through with this Easter egg. Like I said, we're just trying to survive in this maze. Just get a uh, one zombie left because I, if you know, the crawlers do not survive anymore. You have to have one full zombie left. Anyways, uh, here we go, and we are going to go in a few seconds here. You're going to see a screen clip, and I'm going to be here at round 23, right here. And I'm going to be trying the box. See, I get an RPG, and that just ticks me off. It really does. Uh, I mean, we tried so many times to get... Yeah, we tried so many times just to get uh, EMPs, and we're at round 23 now trying to try the box. And... We already used up all our ammo, not ammo, but money in the bank. And you see me get this, stup this stupid ass pistol. I get so pissed right here, I throw a monkey in the fire. Get out of here, stupid ass monkey. Monkey. Now, anyways, uh, <laughs> anyways, um, no, um, I'm gonna get EMPs. No, no. I got an RPG right here, get? another one. See how tedious it is getting the stuff out of the box, guys. Um, this is. I mean, if you use all your money up in the bank, I mean, 
I, I wouldn't even do that. I just just start over, but we used a lot of money up. Well, the money we did have. And see, I get the EMPs right here, finally, on round 23. It took us, like, 12 more rounds. All right. And uh, my friend right here is going to say he got EMPs as well. Uh, so he's going to get EMPs um, right here. Thank fucking God, man. He's just going to scream out he got EMPs. Oh, so you want me to make a And I'm going to kill this crawler. Well, this zombie. And uh, we're going to run over here to town. Thank you, dude. And we're gonna keep running through here. Yes, go. too good for you. And like I said, you're just gonna run through here. You're just gonna want to run through here up. to uh, not town. I'm sorry, to a uh, oh, diner. Yeah, dude, um, you know, some people, and the two spots to, like, where you're gonna want to like, do this at is bus stop and diner. And these are the best spots because you, if you try to use the teleporter from bus stop. More than likely, about 90% of the time, you are not going to end up at Diner. You're going to end up somewhere in some other location, and it's going to—it's—it's it's the hardest locations to, you know, get to when you're using one of these locations. So let's say if I use Diner, it's going to be a 90% chance for me just to end up in Bus Stop. And if you use Bus Stop, it's about a 90% chance you're not going to end up in Diner. So it's, you know both ways you're more than likely not going to end up there so these are the best ways to do it and like i said i'm doing a two-player tutorial Dude, um, which you've um, read on the screen and we're just going to do this last part two players now if you had four players see i make a tell plus also one more thing you want to make a teleporter right, there, as well because um, to do this with two players you're going to need to make one now anyways if you're doing this with four you don't need to make a teleporter you all just ha need to have emps yeah, and you're plan. just going to throw them at that light well, a separate light post around the map the portal, just uh, then, uh, any one it but it's got to be separate feet, one and uh yeah and that and then you'll get the achievement but like i said it takes a long time for four people just to get it just imagine we just barely got it with two people just two people we barely just got stuff done at round 23 and round 24 getting the emps now anyways i will show you in a few seconds here how you're gonna have to throw these emps down and uh, can finish this last part uh, of the Easter okay, egg. Uh, ready. And I'll show you that here in a second. And uh, yeah, guys, this took this just took so much time. Anyways, I run over here, I throw a uh, EMP down, I jump in the teleporter, I throw another one down right now, and I throw it down at my feet. And there's the Easter egg. See, as what I I just it's, it's did, what uh, what happened is yeah, that I. Yeah. Uh, See, the Easter egg's done right there, as you can see it. The little uh, blue flashing light that's going to the obelisk. And we're going to get Tower of Babel right now. Now, anyways, what I did is I threw an EMP down at the light post, jumped in the light post, and as soon as the screen turned black, I looked at my feet and threw another one, and this guy, the other guy did the same thing, and that's how you get it with two people. Thank you guys uh, for watching. If you like, comment, rate, subscribe. Please smash the shit out of that subscribe button, guys. Um, thank you again, and I will see you later. <laughs>